Hey guys, and welcome to another instructional video where today we're going to talk about the shoulder press machine. So here's a shoulder press machine. As you can see in this image, the muscles that we're going to be using will be predominantly the deltoids, which are the shoulders. We will also be using the trapezius, which makes up your neck and the upper middle part of your back muscles. And we'll also be using the triceps, which are on the back of the upper arm. And as seen in the brief movement picture, we're going to be sat in the seat and we'll be moving the bar, in this case the handles, directly above the head. So, first off we need to get into a good strong position. We want to make sure that we can actually physically get into position. Uh, in this case I want to lower the seat, as shown here. I want to get in the position, I want to be able to get a good strong base. So I want to be able to get my ankles on the floor. If not on the floor, then maybe onto a box, something where I can get a good solid base for the movement. And then I want to put my hands onto the handles so then I have roughly a 90 degree bend in my elbows when I'm starting the exercise. If the handles are too low, then I'm going to increase the stress on the shoulder and the rotator cuff, which can lead to injury. And if the handles are too high, then I'm just not going to get much out of the movement and I won't get a stretch or much function from the exercise at all. We can hold both sets of handles, but at this moment we're just going to hold onto the handles as seen here, up by the shoulder. Now same as the other machines, we can change the weight either up or down by pulling out the pin and we're also able to bring the weight up or down by moving the discs on top. As you can see, when I get into position, I'm sat fully in the seat with my butt right back. My back is on the rest or on the bench. And my head is in a neutral position. I haven't got my chest arched up. I haven't got my chin pressed against my chest and I'm not looking into the sky. I want to keep my wrists straight throughout the whole movement. And as you can see here, my elbows come to just below 90 degrees to a full extension but not locked out so I'm still keeping about a five degree bend in my arms that's going to keep all the tension on the muscles rather than the joints. So when I'm bringing the weight back down I'm not letting the weights on the stack touch again this is going to keep the emphasis on the muscles and when you finish your set and all your reps are done slowly bring the weights back down get your arms out of position and that's it. That is the seated shoulder press machine. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.